Awesome, a big welcome back to the Amazon 10K Challenge, where we take a product from $0, not knowing what we're gonna sell on Amazon, all the way up to $10,000 a month, and we do it here fully transparently. This is day 35 out of 45, and today's a very important video because I'm gonna teach you how to avoid the mistake that I made that cost me tens of thousands of dollars in my product launch for my very first product. So you're gonna wanna see this one. Once again, this is day 35, so if you haven't seen the first 34 days, definitely go back and watch them. We've got some incredible content teaching you how to find your product, innovate and improve on your product so it's better than the competitors, how to find the supplier that's trustworthy that you know you can trust and is gonna make a high quality product that you can be proud of. I'm gonna go through how to create the listing, how to make sure it's SEO optimized. It's all there in the first 35 days. And now we're finally up to launching our product. We're about 40% of the way through our launch, which is exciting. And if you've been following along, you remember this um, little scratch snowball map Excel sheet that we're tracking. So we're gonna go through the updates to this. We're gonna go through that uh, number one mistake that I made. And before we jump into that video, I wanna make sure if you're not a member of our Amazon FBA community on Facebook, it's a private community we have set up that everybody's in here, keeping each other accountable, helping each other out. Uh, it's a really cool community that we're quite proud of. So get into this community by using the link in the description and fill out those three questions to gain access and we'll see you inside here. If you haven't signed up for the Amazon FBA Masterclass, it's the latest strategies and the advanced strategies that you need to know in order to launch your product as successfully as possible on Amazon. It's over 12 hours of content that me and Evan have learned together in launching over 20 successful products. All the things we did right, we explain step by step, we take you by the hand and walk you through. And all the things we did wrong, we tell you how to avoid those mistakes to uh, fast track your results. So that link is in the description and you can save $200 off by using the code next to the link. So with that said, let's jump in and I'll give you a sales update and I'll teach you how to avoid uh, losing tens of thousands of dollars on your first product. Don't miss out on this. We are giving away an Amazon product idea that I personally found that will make you over $5,000 every month, $1,000 of PayPal cash to buy your stock, and a fast track Amazon FBA coaching session to ensure that you launch your product perfectly. To win, all you need to do is subscribe, turn on post notifications, and comment below why you want to start an Amazon FBA business. Enter now, then let's jump into this video. Awesome, so before I jump in here, if you give me a thumbs up if you've been enjoying this series so far, it's super helpful for me to get this series viewed by more people, so I super appreciate that. And you can see on the top right of the screen over here, the sales summary. A quick update from yesterday, we now are at 66 sales and almost $1,600 of revenue within about, we launched on the uh, 31st of December, or the 1st of Jan, so in about 14 days uh, we have done that and we've got about one more week left of this launch where we're going to roll that snowball. Uh, we, we've got a lot of momentum now, so we're going to use that momentum to get bigger and bigger exponentially and climb up to that $10,000 a month that we're all shooting for on the 10K train. So within this document we've been tracking, I mean, if you haven't seen this document yet, please go back and watch the earlier um, days and it'll fill you in on everything you need to know and what you're seeing here because this is a crucial mindset to have and a crucial understanding to have the relationship between your sales your uh, your SEO rank and your bestseller rank so I've done a latest check today uh, and 64 sales so we've got a couple of sales uh, late yesterday which haven't been accounted for but you can see we're at a uh, bestseller rank of 13,000 which is pretty cool we're trying to shoot down to that 5,000 mark because that's the $10,000 a month mark uh, which is the top 5,000 products in our niche. What's happened to that photo? All right, <laughs> we'll just leave it there. And um, so these are our three keywords we're trying to rank for, the scratch map, scratch off map of the world, and large scratch off map. So you can see that we are ranked on the second page for scratch map, second page for scratch off map of the world, which is the biggest keyword that people search for when looking for these scratch off maps. And we're on the fourth, not the fourth page, but the fourth rank for large scratch off maps. So we can see we've come a long, long way from being, I mean, even unranked at zero sales to having uh, two of these on the second page and one of them on the first page at just 64 sales. And we have 500 units, remember. So uh, we're going to be getting onto that first page very, very soon and then climbing up those listings on the first page to get that really uh, <laughs> highly sought after first spot. So 
This segues nicely into what I'm going to teach you today. You see our sales rank actually dropped back down to 27,000. And again, it bounces up and down, so you don't have to be too worried about that. Depending on the time of day, so it's nighttime now in the US or early morning in the US, so no one's actually bought it today. So we're going to be um, hovering at about where we normally hover at about 25,000. And we want to slowly get that down to a range between five to 10,000, which we'll be doing this week. We got 434 units of stock out of 500. So you would think that that is the majority of units in stock, but this is where I want to tell you a quick story and how to say how to prevent you from making the same big mistake. The biggest mistake I made with my first product and a mistake that most people don't see coming because they, a lot of people are nervous to sell on Amazon because they don't know if their product will sell or not. Where more commonly the product, if you can market it right, will sell too quickly and you won't be able to get in stock, right? And what happens? I think we lost our snowball photo. If I can see if there it is, try and get that back. Once we build all this momentum and say in a week when we have our 5,000 bestseller rank, we're averaging $10,000 every single month, which has been our goal. All that momentum will come to a halt if you run out of stock. You'll lose your SEO ranks, you'll use your best, lose your bestseller rank, you'll lose your product web. Everything we've been working really, really hard for will fall backwards or upwards to up this slope all the way up to 500,000 to a million bestseller rank just because you're not selling any products so you can't maintain your spots in all those three things. And what I did for my first product is I didn't realize until way too late because it had a 30-day manufacturing time and then a seven day shipping time and then two days to get into Amazon. I misjudged when we we're going to when we needed to reorder. And because of that, I was out of stock for about uh, two weeks and I had jacked my price because if you are running out of stock, here's a side tip, it's much better to put your price up. So I'd put this up to $35, $40 if I was running low in stock in order to slow the sales so we don't lose all that momentum. So if you don't have, an, have a choice and you are gonna run out of stock, just keep putting your price up until you're selling uh, the amount a day that's going to keep you in stock until your stock arrives. What I wanted to reveal to you today is this product, uh, this Amazon order calculator. So this is the never run out of stock calculator. And I've, this just comes in the Amazon FBA masterclass, or you can make your own as well. That's a pretty simple document. Uh, I just want to go through the cost of running out of stock uh, to start. So the biggest cost of running out of stock is your sales rank loss. So the bestseller ranking of your item, of your item will drop right down. You'll drop an SEO placement. Your sales momentum will be killed. You have no new reviews coming in because no people are buying it, which gives your competition a, uh, a chance to get ahead in review count. Your conversion rate drops because people can still view your page, but they can't buy your product. And of course, you get no new customers and, and obviously no money in for that time. So we've got a two-step uh two steps in this calculator. And once again, it's in the masterclass for those of you enrolled, you can just download that inside the private uh, private resource vault. Gonna come back over to the seller central, which you should be pretty familiar with now, and use these uh, stats to fill in this sheet. And I'll show you what I mean about uh, finding it uh, difficult to actually stay in, to st stay in stock because so many people uh, actually get out of stock and they don't realize until it's too late. So sales in the last days, you're gonna put in here. So last seven days, uh, $931 in sales. Profit margin, uh, so we have got some coupons going, but I'm going to uh, pretend that we're not in the launch and this is an ongoing thing just for the, uh, the sake of this exercise. So the profit margin normally will be about 40% uh, and we'll get that calculated exactly together and make sure we're reporting this right. I'm gonna make sure everything and all my earnings are transparent uh, throughout this launch, but right now we're just doing an exercise. So we'll, we'll just estimate uh, what it is and we'll get the exact answers in the upcoming days. Uh, cost per day, $53. This is how much profit we were making a day at uh, this amount of sales and this amount of profit margin. It's $53 a day. So every day that we're out of stock, is $53 that we're going to be losing. And once the, once your sales get up, once we're doing uh, $10,000 a uh, a month, which is 2,500 in uh, seven days, we'll be losing 142 US dollars every single day, which is a lot of money to a lot of people. So you wanna make sure you stay in stock and don't, um, don't lose this money and don't lose all these additional costs that you've worked so hard to get. So we're gonna go back to 931. $53 a day. So sales in the last days, uh, so this is part two. So this is how many days left you have until you need to order. And this is crucial. You need to, if you have access to the masterclass and have access to the sheet, or you can make this sheet yourself. I'll show you the, the code right here if you want to copy and paste that into your own sheet. 
um, please use this calculator because you'll be surprised at how early you have to have to actually reorder. So sales in the last seven days, we have 39 sales. Uh, and sales in the last 15 days is 63. So you can see we are on a, a snowball ramp upwards because we're getting more and more sales. Um, they're starting to go exponential. Stock remaining, remember we have 435, I believe, I guess 434. Uh, production time, so how many, so you can see right now if we sell 39 over seven days and it's zero day production time, zero day to ship, we have uh, two, a little over two months left to order, so 67 days. Production time, however, is, for us, it's about 10 days. Um, and you got to take what the supply, your supplier says with a grain of salt. You always have to add days to it because they're always going to be late. They'll never surprise you and have an early uh, production time. Then they'll be like, yeah, it's going to be 15 days and they'll be done in 11. They're more likely to be done in 21. So our supplier says 8 to 10. So I'm going to put about 12 to 15 in here. So I'm going to put 15 days just to be sure because every day out of stock is super costly both financially and in momentum. This is where the big costs actually come in. So we don't want to underestimate this. Shipping time, we're going to do C, oh, we're not going to do C shipping. If you're doing C shipping, it's going to be something like 30 days. Uh, we're not doing C shipping. Uh, it's going to be probably about five days. And then you also have to add into this at least two to three days that Amazon organize your stock. So once they get it into the FBA warehouse, sometimes it takes up to 72 hours before you are in stock because they have to organize your stock. So I'm going to put uh, six day shipping, three days in, um, three days in Amazon to get that organized. Now you can see that we have 43 days left to order, which is great because that is a decent amount of time for us. Um, the one thing we have to be careful about is our sales are exponential. And this isn't supposed to be done on an ongoing product. So our sales are going to be ramped up. And then the last, in the next seven days, we're probably gonna sell over a hundred maps, uh, which would change this significantly. So we've got to keep that in mind. But just filling this out right now, I can see that we have a decent amount of time. I would say we have at least two to three weeks to reorder, probably about 20 days, um, including the exponential growth. So that's good for me to know. But for example, we have a quite a short production time. A lot of products are 45 to 60 days to produce and people can't factor that in really well. And they say, okay, we've sold only 66 products. We have 434 remaining. Um, and they, you don't understand that you only have two weeks left to reorder if you don't want to be out of stock, especially during a launch because your sales are so exponential. And as the snowball rolls down the hill, you're going to get more and more sales and it's going to get out of hand. You're going to run out of stock and you're going to lose all this cost. So I want to keep this video simple because that is the number one mistake that I made when launching my product. And it did cost me about fifteen to $20,000 just because it was a 30-day processing time and I didn't reorder until I had about 30 units left because I didn't understand that concept. So I would have paid a lot of money for someone to have taught me that when I was launching my product. So I hope you can uh, download that calculator and put in your sales and, and calculate uh, how to stay in stock because that is probably 60% of the Amazon game long term, long term is just going to be inventory management and improving on your product every time you reorder. So once again, if you're not in the masterclass, the link is in the description below. If you have any uncertainty or any uh, a lack of conviction in launching your product, you need to take the masterclass because we'll walk you through hand by hand through all of the technical details, all of the strategic details, all the psychology that you need. We'll make it an easy process for you and take away all the guesswork. So you can save $200 by using the link in the description. Make sure you check out our Facebook group. We are all really friendly. We're all taking the same journey together and we're all helping each other out. So come over and join that and subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you tomorrow in day 36.